Oh my god, you guys, I left you. because I just have to put you guys in the little protector because I'm gonna go to the beach in a second and I don't want any sand in my GoPro. So I got sweet potato fries, I got a classic burger. I don't remember asking for two, but I'm not complaining. And then a strawberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it's so good. Today, like Burj Al Arab is over there, and you can't even see it. Like, honestly, so rude. But um, to be honest, the swim is much better here. It is Kite Beach. It's called. Um, it's super windy today, but honestly, I don't mind it because it's so hot anyway. I wish it wasn't this foggy because Burj Al Arab is over there, and I was going to walk um, to swim there, but. I literally underestimated um, the weather, to be honest. It is literally desert weather. Like, you see buildings and stuff and you're like, no, it's going to be breezy. But actually, not at all. It's so hot and I was almost like too dehydrated. The swim here is super, super nice and smooth as well. <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome to day four. Today is Wednesday. Today is a different day because I woke up for the hotel breakfast. <laughs> um, I have an early day today because I wanted to get a lot of things in and I wanted to be able to come back to the hotel and go out again. So today is super exciting but first let me show you my outfit. This is a very colorful outfit. I have this top from Zara. It's actually just a tank top and these are elastics so I just put one on the side so that it's like a little bit more interesting. Um, these shorts, um, sweat shorts, they're from Fashion Nova. I absolutely love them. This shirt is also from Fashion Nova and I love that it's like long and you can style it like a jacket and then my sneakers they are the nike dunk clothes nba collection that's the outfit i'm just going to um, take these these glasses they're gonna look sick and also just this bag 
I still have the Sephora bag here. I haven't unboxed anything. I just used the Mario Badescu um, drying lotion and honestly, I actually love it because obviously on vacation, pimples decided to come out. So I had this one here and one on my neck. And so I needed to use it, like I needed to open it up. And it actually went down in size significantly in one night. So I actually like it. I'm not surprised because I've heard so many people talk about it and rave about it. So anyway, I just did my makeup. I don't know if you can tell, just a nude, rosy makeup, bronzed makeup. And today's plan is going to Burj Khalifa and go all the way to the top. Today is gonna be exciting, another touristy day for me. And this is why I chose Dubai because for my first trip after two years of the pandemic, because it doesn't like there is not too much to do there's enough to do you can pick from it um i wanted something like easy going i could go to the beach without feeling guilty about no, not learning about what church was built in what year so <laughs> i feel like i picked a good spot for that all right so i made it to the dubai mall and when you buy um, a ticket for Burj Khalifa you have to come get it at some stand or something at the Dubai Mall um, before going to actual Burj Khalifa they're, they're like actually um, stuck to each other so it's not that far away um, so that's what I'm doing they made me put the mask on and I hate it but it's fine and I bought the ticket from the actual website of Burj Khalifa because there's a lot of vendors and stuff with like it's a lot of added money for no reason. Um, so just go to the actual Burj Khalifa's website. Um, oh my God, I think, I love, no. He said all the way straight and then take a right. So yeah, I hate that the mask is gonna ruin my makeup, but it's fine, it's whatever. So yeah, let's go. Hundred and twenty fourth floor. Oh my god, I almost forgot how to talk. And it looks so sick. It is a little bit foggy because of the sand in the air, but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. finding every single thing cute oh i love this view i don't know something about tall buildings i just love now i'm going straight to the mall it's shopping time i am so excited um, since i only have tomorrow as a full day i don't want to do all the shopping at one set sitting so i'm gonna go do some shopping right now then maybe have some lunch or something go back to the hotel maybe go to the beach that sounds like a good plan to me so we will see where i go but i will definitely be going to um, the mall right now let's go turns out i was hungry so i wanted to eat before i go shopping so i got this bowl which is exactly what i wanted today i've had too much fast food even though like um grease but i got this shawarma bowl from this place called nebulous shopping around and I went to the Apple store and I got um, 
everything that I needed for whether content creation, interior design, whatever it is. Um, I got an iPhone and iPad and I'll show you everything back when I go. And now I'm at the Prada store and I'm gonna get the re-edition 2005 back that I've been wanting for like over a year now. And it's, she's preparing it for me. And I'm gonna get it and I think I'm gonna go home right after this. I'm literally dropping from shopping here. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously I'll do a haul like later whether at home or like when I go back to Morocco. You guys, I just bought the Prada bag. I'm dying. What the fuck? Um, I am so excited to style it different ways. She showed me different ways to use um, the bag. Sorry, this is how I look. This is reality. I cannot look good all the time. You know, it's not my full-time job. My full-time job is to be myself. So um, I came back to the hotel. I was extremely hungry, so hungry I didn't want to think about where to eat. So I scouted a Starbucks and I went and had a pretzel, feta and spinach pretzel sandwich or something like that. Anyway, it was great. I just put everything I bought right here. So this is my vlogging camera. I'm gonna do an unboxing when I get home. Also, if you don't know, obviously you don't know because I haven't said that. <laughs> but um when i go back home i have like two or three days and then i move into a new apartment which is extremely exciting but i don't want to make like a huge deal out of it because it's just you know i just need to have my own sanctuary and I, i'll talk about you know the timings and everything later on but i will have to move to another apartment this time it's going to be furnished because i don't want to deal with furnishing any apartment um and then i will do the unboxing um during the moving process because the moving process will be very easy so this is all of my apple stuff as i told you i don't know if i said it but i went back and i got the apple pencil because virgin megastore didn't have it and i also got at the virgin megastore the airpods the iphone the ipro uh, the ipad pro i got at the apple store as well and then I went back and I got the Apple Watch because Virgin did not have stock in the one that I wanted. I wanted the gold one. I got the gold one and I got the cellular um, and GPS. This is my vlogging camera. This is my beautiful baby. <laughs> Literally, she was like, congratulations, here's your bag. And I was like, I feel like I just had a baby. Like, thank you congratulations to me indeed uh, because I did plan on getting this bag for over a year now this is not an impulse buy I am a double Virgo nothing is impulsive for me so that was planned totally and I wanted this bag for a very long time this is my Sephora stuff I still have some Sephora stuff that I want to get tomorrow um, and then did I show I'll show everything when I'm back home and the last full day I have here in Dubai and it's already been so full of drama it is barely 1 p.m. so full of drama first of all I can't wake up in the morning miss the hotel breakfast as I did all week and then I decided to go to the beach just you know one last time because I have a lot of shopping to do before going home and I go to the beach and it's Jumeirah public beach and it was way too public for me um, literally a full three full buses of tourists came down it was way too public for me anyway I decided to go to a private beach I can't find it I keep going around with a taxi anyway I decided to come to and this whole time mind you I didn't have my coffee I forgot to eat I forgot to even plan to go to a restaurant or um, a Starbucks or something um, so the fact that I survived with that coffee until 12 p.m. is beyond me But that's what you get when you're like relaxed and on vacation I don't feel like the stress to get my coffee the second I wake up um, And now I'm in the Mall of Emirates um, Just because it was on the way to the hotel Not because I need to do any shopping But I will, I might try to get something um, there's a Bath and Body Works downstairs and I want to get um, candles and stuff. I want to get 
especially candles actually that's what I want to get from there um, so I'll try to do that if they want to do the tax free with just the picture of my passport because I don't have my passport right here look at that coach thing cute anyway so that's the plan I'm gonna roam around a little bit and then go change and I want to buy flip-flops because these are killing me right now my period or something because like I have a scattered mind today or maybe because it's my last full day and I have so much on my mind that I want to do from Mushif, the next station is so I came back to the Dubai mall I changed my outfit I have a very comfortable outfit right now I got this couch from forever 21 just now I changed into my biker shorts from Fashion Nova, this t-shirt and these slides um, from Forever 21 as well. With It's a collab with Everlast and they look really good. Um, so is this couch, it's a collab with Everlast. But I have one last you know, shopping trip to do, some things that I really want that I can't stop thinking about. I'm very much comfy and on a mission this time. I am going to Sephora first and then getting some traditional stuff for my mom and then my dad, I think. Anyway, I don't want to get into details, but yeah, the view is here. Oh, and by the way, I got the Metro for the first time after a whole week of being here. And I, got, I took a taxi earlier and he was like, you have to take the metro at least once. I feel dumb for not taking the metro this whole time because it was super easy and I was just lazy. Um, and it's super inexpensive. I don't know like if it's, it hits all the spots here in Dubai, but I know that it hits the Dubai Mall. Um, it hits Business Bay, which I don't know what we do there. But like Dubai Mall is like downtown, Burj Khalifa, stuff like that. So. I think um, if you look into it, I think there's a red line and a green line and you should really try like using it if you're coming here and you don't want to get a car, you don't want to drive like me, but yeah, the view is not too shabby. Also, my legs hurt, okay, whatever, my legs hurt so I'm trying not to walk too much because I know I'm gonna have to walk a lot in the mall yeah now it's time for packing i just have all of my shopping bags here all of my stuff here and i'm trying to find a system so that everything works and i also have a lot of tax-free stuff that i need to make sure that i have on hand and i think i need to make sure that everything is easy access so that in case they ask to see whatever I got, every other time I had to do tax free, I didn't have to show anything. So the Sephora guy told me I don't have to show anything. So we will see. And I hope I don't because opening the suitcase in front of everyone, not the vibe. So yeah, I'm going to try to find a system here. I will report back. And the plan tomorrow is I'm going to pack everything i'm gonna organize everything and leave just my swimsuit i think i'm gonna go up to the pool tomorrow at the rooftop so yeah i'm gonna pack and report back good morning guys it is the last day the last official day the flight is tonight and i was thinking i'm going to end the vlog here i'm just going to tan and enjoy the sun i'm almost like i don't want to leave like what i have my book verity by Colleen Hoover. I was told it was an amazing book. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for following me on Instagram, for following this trip with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram if you don't. And I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully very soon in the next trip.